How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Jimmy Kimmel, who at one point was a late night talk show host. He was a quote unquote comedian, but now I'm not really sure what his whole purpose is. I mean, every time I see a clip from him on the internet, because I don't watch his show ever on television, but anytime I see him on the internet, it's always something that's about Trump. So I presume his job now is to bash Trump. It's to be an extension of MS-13, NBC, ABC, CNN, CBS, etc. Late night Trump bashing is pretty much his occupation at this particular point in time. But I'm talking about him today because he spoke about an event that I attended, the Black Voices for Trump, which I have the badge right here. He said a few things that were not true about it, misrepresented it. And he also spoke about somebody that I know. Bryson, who came up with the MAGA challenge. Now, before we even get into that, let's roll a couple of clips. And I'm going to break it up here a little bit so they don't try to copyright gate me. Uh, check out these clips. After we get done, we'll talk about what was said in the clips. I'll give you the real information that you should know rather than what Jimmy Kimmel said. I'll give you my two cents about him, the situation, and then I'll wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Not only is Trump consolidating his base in Russia, he's hoping to attract African-American voters. The president was in Atlanta on Friday for a Black Voices for Trump rally. Really, this is the kind of venue where Donald Trump shines most brightly. Think of this. Blacks for Trump. Black Voices for Trump. African-Americans for Trump. This is what Blacks for Trump really looks like. That's... Um, <laughs> Stanley and Linda Black. The One more clip. Trump tweeted, I will be announcing the winners of the MAGA challenge and inviting them to the White House to meet with me and perform good luck. Now, this is a challenge that was started by a rapper named Be Serious. Uh, his idea is that he wants people to write and perform pro-Trump rap songs. Be Serious said he wants to help get the word out about Trump. There's nothing more Donald Trumpy than taking time in the middle of your impeachment hearing to judge a rap contest. And <laughs> we put some of the videos together, and I have to say, these guys might be on to something. Got my MAGA hat on, not worried about CNN or the squad. Watch a man just doing what he said, and the left blowing up, because I'm wearing all this red. How you gonna tell me who I should vote for? And why are you basing it on my skin color? I was a Democrat in college, but I walked away. Now I'm not trying to hear anything they got to say. Trump's policies are so grand. I've been on the Trump train and it's a friggin' ride. If Trump keeps it up, I'll never leave his side. Watching the economy expand. Over the gates, here we all come. Forevermore and forevermore. The righteous long with the pure. Rap on, rap on. Got a brand new feeling I gave him that meaning No label can destroy So come and see your MAGA boy Who knew there was so much talent out there? <laughs> and again, Trump said he's gonna meet the winners of the contest at the White House Which means he definitely won't meet the winners of the contest at the White House Okay, so you saw that, you heard that now Let's start from the very beginning. Let's talk about the Black Voices for Trump event. Like I said, I attended. I was there. I got the badge. You go to my Instagram page. There's pictures. There's videos. There's a lot. He wanted to, like, downplay it like it was no big deal. Like, you know, nobody black is going to show up. You know, basically saying that Trump is a racist and nobody black would actually support him in reality. You know, he'll, he'll say it's for black folks, but... It won't be anybody black there. Now, that one picture, yes, those two people were there, and that's fine. We want anybody to support the movement. But the reality is that when you were actually in the building, when you were actually in this space, it was 95% black people attending the event. Matter of fact, there were so many black people that we had to turn some away. It was a packed house. It was a fantastic place to be. We needed, quite frankly, uh, a, a theater or an arena or something to hold everybody. And it was last minute. It was only like three days out. Did anybody know about it? Maybe even two days out. Did anybody know about it? And it was invite only. So you couldn't just pop up to the whole spot. You see what I'm saying? But see, MS-13 NBC, uh, Jimmy Kimmel, ABC, 
CNN, they won't tell you that. They'll just make it seem like, oh, nobody came. It was only white people and Trump's a racist. That is the narrative that you would get from the mainstream media. But I'm here to dispel that. Also, let's talk about the MAGA challenge. Now, this is a thing that Bryson, he called Be Serious. That's his uh, rap name. Bryson started this on Twitter on his own. It wasn't like, oh, the RNC or the GOP or Trump himself or anybody in the administration called rappers and like, hey, like, can you put out some pro-Trump stuff? No. He started it on his own. And then Trump saw it, retweeted it, and gave it more voice. Now, again, you're seeing some misleading information, some misleading quote-unquote facts from Mr. Kimmel on his rag of a television show. He showed some people that did MAGA challenges, but did you notice something a, a little strange or a little, you know, a little different? It was nobody black that was in there. But meanwhile, once you actually go on Twitter and look at the MAGA challenge from the beginning, when it started probably about a month or two ago, you're seeing mostly black folks do it or at least like 70, 80 percent black folks doing it. You see, they don't want you to know that it's a lot of us that are black who support the president. OK, the whole thing in that clip in those clips, pardon me, that I showed you is. You know, you got white folks wearing the Blacks for Trump shirt. Meanwhile, it was like 20 black guys that came from Miami with the same shirts on. OK, they didn't want to show them at all. And even though they're everywhere, you see the one guy who has uh, the Blacks for Trump sign everywhere. I met him. Super cool dude. Very nice guy. All of them cool people. They didn't want to show them at all. They didn't want they want to make it seem like it was only white people that were there and nobody black would actually support the president. That is very far from the truth. OK. And Jimmy Kimmel appears to be what he thinks that Donald Trump is and Trump supporters are, which is a racist. OK, you wanted to downplay the black voices for Trump event as somehow, you know, it's, it's trying to cater and pander to black people and nobody black showed up this day in the third and then the same thing with the MAGA challenge. You're acting like nobody black's really involved. But the truth is you actually excluded the black people that were there. OK. And you made it seem like, you know, if you want to come to the event, you got to be like, hey, yo, you know, some kind of stereotypical black voice. The same kind of voice you used, Jimmy Kimmel, when you did blackface while imitating Karl Malone. And I'll place a picture of that on the screen before you and I'll place video of that in the description box below. Matter of fact, check this out. Yeah. Sometime at night, call below, look up in sky and say, what the hell going on up there? Do UFO live on other planet, phoning home like E.T.? So that's fine, right? You can have on your black face, like total, like not even just the, you know, quote unquote, dark makeup like Joy Behar. I'm talking about the full body, black paint, you know, you, you change your physical appearance, your voice and all of that. But you are the grand arbiter of what is and what is not racist, what is and what is not appropriate, what is and what is not presidential. Meanwhile, you can't even handle your own self appropriately in your own life. Why is it always the leftists that talk about how, quote unquote, racist the right are that get found out wearing blackface justin trudeau jimmy kimmel joy behar sarah silverman the list goes on i could continue i don't see anybody on the right doing this like the current governor of virginia ralph northam and his attorney general mark herring i don't see anybody on the right doing this is always the ones that are on the left pointing the finger at us talking about, oh, we're racist and we're Uncle Toms and Coons and sellouts. I've seen much more racism from the left than from the right. OK, the right, they're all about just facts and figures. The left, all about feelings, and they will attack you with racism if you don't agree with what they agree with. But as I close, I want to say this. The Black Voices for Trump event on Saturday in Atlanta, Georgia was fantastic. I met a lot of great people and shout out to all you guys that I met there. And we're going to do much more. This ain't going to be the end of it. So you're going to have a whole lot of hit pieces against black folks, uh, Jimmy Kimmel, because this ain't going to be the end. We're going to be out here in these communities really pushing the black vote for conservative parties and principles here on out. It ain't going to be the end. And the MAGA challenge 
will go down in the White House. Bryson has already been at the White House, sir. If you did any kind of research talking about, oh, they're not going to be there. Why would they not be there when one person has already been to the White House that was featured in the actual thing? It's going to be fantastic. I hope that they do the mega challenge performance at the 2020 inauguration inside the White House or right outside on the National Mall. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think Jimmy Kimmel is a hypocrite, maybe even a racist for talking about how uh, the Black Voices for Trump event wasn't really filled with anybody black and you're trying to pander to black people and you're not really doing a good job. Meanwhile, he right here with a, uh, a whole black face outfit, the, the body part augmentations, the voice changing. I mean, what's really going on? That's what I want to know. I mean, why is it always like this? Why can't people just just stop just just be quiet like you want to throw a stone hide your hand big time hypocrite that's my pet peeve personally is a hypocrite if you're going to be one way be that way all the time don't switch it up when it is beneficial for you to do that be one way all the time and don't tell lies about things don't put out misleading information with me, I always give you my opinion, my two cents, and the facts, and also ways to look up the facts for yourself beyond just me talking at you. It'll be links in the description, which I always do. People like Kimmel are intentionally misleading. They're liars. They're dishonest. And quite frankly, I think they got some racism in them. If not, they are full-blown racist. But whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.